Hey everybody, Ryan McMurphy here. This is the second episode of Biblical Basics, and today I want to talk about the church. What is the church? Why does it exist? In order to understand what the church is, you have to understand the context of what the Bible puts forward. The Bible tells a story of God working to restore humanity back to himself to a state of perfection devoid of sin, suffering, and death. The initial separation takes place because humanity sort of seceded from God's government and his way of doing things. Now God is on track to restoring his people and putting an end to sin, but during this transitory period until that day eventually happens, he's put forth a group of people to sort of be his ambassadors on this foreign soil that we know as Earth. Think about the U.S. Embassy, for example. Its sole purpose, it's stationed in different countries, it's supposed to represent the nation to other different nations. It's a, it's a diplomatic sort of endeavor. The second reason U.S. embassies exist is to assist U.S. citizens who find themselves abroad to provide shelter or legal aid or any other kind of needs they may have. In a similar sense, the church kind of does this. It's like an embassy for the kingdom of God. It exists to be a representative to other people of God's goodness and his plan and his love. This would probably fall into the idea of what outreach is, reaching out into the community. The second purpose for churches is to help people who consider themselves citizens of God's kingdom, to help teach people about what the Bible says, to help train them to be ready to serve God and their community, and to provide a kind of sanctuary or community, a kind of kinship where people can grow closer to each other around these similar ideas and values. In the Old Testament, this role was fulfilled by Israel. They were specifically placed to be ambassadors to the rest of the known world, to tell about God and his plan of salvation. In the New Testament, we see the early Christian church, whose job is to teach, preach, and love people the same way Jesus did. And in our modern context, we hear the word church and really think of the building, about the place people get together and there's usually a cross on top or it's a really pointy spire. But in the truest sense, the church is the people who identify as followers of God. One question people often have is, why are there so many churches? I mean, they all follow the same holy book. Shouldn't there be a certain amount of consistency? And that's a reasonable question. But to understand why that is the way it is, we could look to another analogy based on nationhood. The United States has a constitution, yet we have so many different opinions as to how it should be followed in different political groups. What did the author mean really when he wrote that? Or is this document subject to change based on the culture of future generations? As a result, you get a lot of different ideas of how the country should be conducted. And that idea proves true for churches, because people are diverse and have different experiences. Well, we can only expect that interpretations of the Bible are also diverse. When met with the question of, well, how do I find the right one? I want to follow Jesus, and I want to be around the people that will help make sure that I can do that. The answer to that is really twofold. One is what you find the Bible to teach. You want to find a group that is true to Scripture. The second thing is pray about it. Ask for the Holy Spirit's leading in your life to guide you to a group of people who can equip you with everything you need to f grow closer to the Lord. As someone whom biblical principles and literacy is important, I'm a part of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. They've done a phenomenal job of teaching, preaching, and equipping me to enter into conversations like this one. And I would invite anybody to come in and sit in on a service and make a decision. Thank you so much.